Hey y'all, today I thought it would be fun if we did a subscription style box comparison between Short Story and Stitch Fix. And we're gonna do this as like a petite style subscription box comparison. Many of you guys know I'm under five foot and it is a struggle to find clothes that fit correctly. I've really loved Short Story and Stitch Fix. Both of them have provided me with a lot of options that actually fit my body. I'm pretty curvy, uh, but I have a really short inseam. Um, my waist is really short. There's, it's, it's just a struggle to find clothes that fit my really petite and curvy frame properly. So I've really been enjoying uh, these style subscription boxes. As we know, my favorite style subscription box just shut down Nordstrom Trunk Club. I loved that one. They offered me so many options, uh, but since they are no longer in business, I will be doing a lot more short story and stitch fix. So if you're interested in seeing what both of these companies sent me and getting an honest review from me, just keep watching. All right, if you're new here and you have no idea what a style subscription box is, uh, basically this is the gist of it. You pay a style fee and you get your own personal stylist who will curate a box of goodies for you you tell them your style, you give them your sizes, you tell them what colors you like to wear, you give them all kinds of details and your stylist will curate a box that of clothes that they think you will love and they will send it to your home. And if you decide to keep any of the clothing that they send you, that $25 styling fee that you paid for the stylist to send the box of clothes to your home, that $25 is applied to anything you purchase. So I do have a code for both of these boxes if you do want to try them risk free. I will leave all that information in my description box. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone who has used my referral links because that does give me credits and I get to buy more clothing with those credits. So thank you so much to anyone who has used that link or plans on using that link. I really appreciate it. I will continue these style box videos as long as I can. Let's open these up. We are going to unbox them together. I'm gonna to show you the clothes. Then we're gonna try everything on and go over the prices. That way you can see if you're looking for petite clothing, what box may be better for you. Um, each month I get completely different clothing from both of these companies. And I do think there is a winner for today's video. But let's just go ahead and open the boxes and you guys be the judge. Vote in the comments down below which box do you think is best for a petite woman like five foot four or under to get as a style subscription box service you guys let me know be the judge and vote down in the comments let's open her up so these boxes do look extremely similar as far as packaging they pretty much come with the same exact thing your clothes will come wrapped up and here on like style tube we call this the burrito because these style companies roll up your clothes and they make it look like a cute little burrito. So this is Short Story, that's their burrito. All of these style boxes also come with a prepaid poly mailer. They actually put a shipping label already on this poly mailer. So anything you don't purchase, you put back in this bag, zip it up, put it in your mailbox. It is super easy. And then short story, like the other subscription boxes, they will send you kind of like an invoice. So it'll show you everything that your stylist sent you. And then they will also write you a note. So here's the note. This is just the unboxing. So that was short story. Okay. And this is my stitch fix. So you can see I have my poly mailer with the prepaid label already glued on it and here is my stitch fix burrito so everything is folded up very nicely and stitch fix includes this little envelope and you have a few things inside so the first thing you're gonna see is this it says oh hello and when you fold it out it's going to give you outfit ideas um, from the things that your stylist sent you then right here at the top there is a note from your stylist, which we will read. And then also included in this envelope is this little pamphlet here. And this is going to go over 
all of your prices. So of course we're gonna go over that. Okay, so that's what it looks like whenever you open up your box from each of these companies. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put each of the clothing pieces on. We're gonna start with short story and I'm also going to tell you the name of the piece and the price. That way if you decide to get one of these boxes and you fall in love with something, you can actually request that exact piece from your stylist. So let's go ahead, start with short story. Let me show you what they sent me. Before we try this stuff on, I should mention, I asked for the exact same things and both companies delivered. I asked for dresses and boot cut or flared jeans. I have both in both boxes, so this will be a really great comparison video, I think. Okay, y'all, this first dress is by Skyser Blue, and this is called the Zoe Texture Swiss Dot Dress. And this is in a petite size and it is $58. Uh, so I do really like the color. I like this little Swiss dot detail. I'm not too crazy if I'm being honest about this neckline with the ruffles. I don't mind a high neckline. I actually love like a good turtleneck or anything high neck, but I don't know. I think this is just really feminine. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not too crazy about it. I do like the fit of the dress. I like how it's very fitted in your waist and then it just kind of flows out. Um, yeah, I think this is a really flattering style dress, but I'm just, and I do love the color. I think this is a really pretty color, um, but I just think this neckline, I'm not too crazy about it. So I think I may pass on this one, uh, but definitely a great start to our box. All right, this dress is the CC Wrap Floral Dress by Muse Petite. It is $58. I think it's really figure flattering. Um, it is really low cut. I didn't wear a tank top or anything. I just wanted to show you guys how low cut it was. Uh, but I like the fit. I like where it hits me. It's not really long. That's the issue I have. I usually have dresses that hit me below my knees and it kind of makes me look shorter. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of hesitant on is the sleeve length what do you guys think do you think that's hitting me at like a weird spot or maybe if i just kind of pull it up but then i have all of this bunching i don't know maybe that does look cute like that yeah definitely gonna have to wear an undershirt with this but i think this one could be a keeper what do you think okay they did send me a top and this is the vivian smock back shoulder tie top by the rack and tear um and this is 48 dollars. i think you guys know i'm gonna love this top because this just looks like an alicia top i can't get it though you guys know i have really narrow shoulders and um just trying this on the uh, yeah just like that the elastic is not wanting to stay but as you can see it has a really cute detail right here um it has just like a tie that you can tie it and then it's really fitted. So I do love this top, um, but I am gonna pass on it. Um, okay, the jeans are actually skinny jeans and these are a little too tight actually. Uh, I probably should not eat before these videos. Um, this is the Frey Bottom Skinny Jeans by Nature Denim. These are in a medium wash and these are $68. I think they're cute. Um, I am trying to buy less skinny jeans however I really am looking for like a flare or boot cut now I probably own eight pairs of skinny jeans I really don't need any more so she did send some so let's try those on next one thing I do want to point out about pretty much every pair of jeans I've gotten from short story if you're petite and curvy you have this issue where there's like always gapping back here and I found that a lot of the short story jeans that they're sending me I don't have that so I do appreciate that so I love these jeans. These are the Naomi Flair jeans by Nature Denim, uh, $68. I love this look here. It has like the button fly and then it has these fun pockets. I just really, really like these. The only thing you guys, I literally was just talking about this. Unfortunately, there is a lot of gapping and you guys, it's a deal breaker for me if something has gapping because I wear a lot of crop tops. But you guys, how cute are these jeans? I think these are absolutely adorable. I wish I didn't have this, this gapping in the back. These look like so much fun. I love these. But 
My search for flare jeans continues. All right, now I'm gonna try on the items Stitch Fix sent me. So this first piece is Fortune and Ivy Rosemary Cozy Dress in dark purple, and this is um, a petite size. Oh, let me tell you the price. This one is $44, not a bad price at all. Um, it's a pretty color. I just don't know if it's a color like that I would reach for a lot. It's just a super casual, just kind of just like a loose fitting dress. Um, it does come right above my knees. It's not a bad dress at all. It's just nothing special. I really do like to use these style service boxes to find unique pieces. Um, you guys know I live in Mississippi. We don't have like a Nordstrom or anything. I go thrifting most of the time for clothes. And if I'm being honest, this type of dress is something I see at the thrift stores all the time. Uh, it's not saying it's a bad piece. I think it's a great piece. It's very comfortable and a great price. Um, I think it's mostly the color for me. Maybe if they did some kind of fun design or maybe put pockets in the front. Something to make it a little different. But I think I'm going to pass on this. All right, this next piece is a Michael Stars dress. It's called the Jordan dress. This is in a petite size and it's $98. I kind of feel like $98 is a little much for this dress. However, I think they knocked it out the ballpark uh, just by the style of it. Uh, not really the price point really, but I have a dress that I literally bought at a thrift store for 50 cents about a month ago. It looks just like this dress. There's a lot of like ruching here, which is super flattering. Um, it does, this one does go below my knees. So does my other one. I just think this is a great dress for a lot of different types of events. I love that it has the ribbing. If you can see, there is some ribbing on it. I really like ribbing. I think it's really, you know, I think it's figure flattering. Yeah, I really like this dress. I think it looks great on. I just don't need it, uh, but I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a little black dress. All right, this top I have on that I hate, uh, it's a Nine Britain Cedro Smocked Bottom Crop Top. This is only $40. Um, there's nothing about this top I like. I don't like this. I feel like this is like making me look big. Like, I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't like the sleeve length. I, I don't like this popover thing i i really i don't like much about it you guys so definitely a no for the top um okay the jeans so these jeans are the democracy catherine boot cut jeans these in, are in a petite size and these are 78 dollars. i want to love these so bad i think i'm looking for more of like a bell bottom uh these are boot cut and i do think these are really cute i just threw some heels on um, these are high rise. I love the dark wash. I would never pair it with this. Anyway, I think what I'm looking for is this fit up top, but then basically like I want to, I want a big flare. They did send another pair of flare jeans. So let's see how those look, but I do love the fit on these and there's no gapping. All right, y'all, these next jeans are by the brand Weatherly which I feel like I've bought at least one or two items from that brand before. I do like this brand. These are called the Grant High Rise Ankle Flare Jean, and these are $98. I think if these were in a darker wash, this is almost exactly what I'm looking for. No gapping, no gapping. High rise, it has a great flare. I'm trying to get all the way back so you can see. Definitely, I think the best flare out of both boxes. Hopefully you guys can see. I really like these. You guys let me know. What do you think? Should I get them? Are they worth $100? I do spend a lot on denim. I will tell you that. I'm someone that wears denim every week. So even in the summertime. So I think I would get a lot of wear out of these. Okay, now that my hair is a total mess, I'm going to read you the notes that my stylist sent me, um, but go ahead and vote in the comments right now. Which box do you think is a better fit for petite women? Let me know down below. Okay, so here is what my short story stylist uh, had to say this month. Her name is Kat, and she said, welcome to chapter seven of your short story. I'm Kat, 
and I had so much fun styling you today. I loved pulling inspiration from the flirty, romantic, and edgy styles on your Pinterest, and I can't wait to hear how you like everything. I heard that you're looking for boot cut or flare jeans, so I snagged the perfect for petite Naomi flare jeans for you to try. I also spotted some cute fray hem skinny jeans on your board, so I pulled a pair as well. Either one would look so chic with the black Vivian smock back shoulder tie top. It has a trendy square neckline and full sleeves, just like some of the styles you've pinned. You also mentioned long sleeve dresses. So have fun styling the Zoe Texture Swiss Dot dress and the CC Wrap Floral dress. A big summer trend is styling dresses with white sneakers for a more laid back vibe or elevate either one with a tan single strap block heel or wedges. Take care, Kat. Thank you so much, Kat. You did a great job. Okay, let's run through my Stitch Fix. My battery is beeping at me. So my Stitch Fix stylist is Kim. And this is my 20th Stitch Fix box. She put Happy Fix Day, Alicia. It's your 20th fix. I see you've checked out your fix preview today. I declined everything. She said, I'm sorry, nothing caught your eye this time around. So I went ahead and picked out some versatile wardrobe staples that I think you'll enjoy based on your feedback. I started off with these high rise ankle flare jeans by Weatherly that I love. They'll pair nicely with a nine Britain pink, white smocked bottom cropped blouse. I also included a pair of mid rise boot cut jeans by Democracy that will go well with the smocked puff sleeve crop top and mustard from Lulu's from your last fix. I thought you might like this black dress from Michael Stars. Do these pieces feel aligned with your style and current closet needs? Please let me know what you think and make sure to leave us feedback for your next fix. XO Kim. So thank you so much to my stylist, both from Short Story and from Stitch Fix. I think you guys did a great job and I'm so interested to see what you, the viewers, think of these boxes. Did you think there was a clear winner? Or do you think these are pretty similar? I am looking for another style box to try, so also leave some suggestions down below, and maybe you will see it in next month's style box video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Subscribe if you want to see daily content from me, and I will see you all tomorrow for a fun new video. Bye, y'all.